Hello everybody, welcome to my first tutorial on GTA and its creator. Now, any map needs to have a trigger. Let's just place it down in the middle of the road because why the fuck not? Next thing we need to do, this is a deathmatch by the way, um, I'm, not, I'm not making a deathmatch, I'm just going to show you the basics. You're going to need team spawn points. What you're going to need to do is place them down, of course. There we go. Now just, do that. just do the same thing on the other side, and it should work, or wherever you want to place them. You can place them all around the map if you want to. Next thing we're going to need, we're going to need a lobby camera. I'm doing this quick because I only have 15 minutes to do this. That's how long you can record videos, because I just tried to record a video doing a deathmatch and basics, but it didn't work. Um, lobby camera, this is the thing that you see in the background of any lobby that's really blurry. Capture it, and you should, and it should be there when you load up a lobby with it. Weapons. Placing down weapons is simple. Just go to the category of weapons you want, and then place it down. Or the category, let's do MGs. And this is considered an SMG. It's also considered a machine gun, but whatever. Place in a combat PW, because we can. Vehicles. Easy. Let's place down a, uh, air tug. How about, wait, we can't change it? Aw, oh, okay, but anyways, an air tug. Props, you can place on barriers. Dynamic props, like barrels, things you can shoot around. Things you can explode. Now, prop stacking is one of the main things you need to do for making extreme maps. You can place down rocks and bushes and stuff, fallen trees. I meant to say that prop stacking was for making stuff go, in with, go into other props. And I was just continuing the list that you could place down rocks, trees, and other shrubbages like that. So don't take that the wrong way. Mm -hmm. The randomizer tool. This is used to make maps. Or not, to, not specifically just to make maps. But it's used to place down weapons and spawns randomly. So let's do this. Now we'll place down 15 spawn points, or that's what I did do, and place down 10 weapons. If you have them both set to medium. It'll be, it'll differ depending on uh, what you have the thing set to. Now the details, let's call it these nuts. <laughs> Got it! Got it! <laughs> because we can. Now we're not gonna bother the description, but I'm gonna put hi. There we go. Photo. This is what you see when you ha see the uh, map in the lobby and in the Rockstar Social Club. Just do that. Now, search tags can do this on your own time, but this is what you do if people are going to search for a certain thing, a certain type of map. Now, the time limit is up to you. Of course, it's how long the map will be, or how long the map will take, or the maximum amount of time. Um, the maximum amount of players is how many players can join your lobby. Let's say 16. The minimum amount of players, I don't like to set this to anything, but I leave it at two, but you can set it to whatever you want. Number of teams, that depends on you. You can only have four teams at a time. You only have a minimum of two and a maximum of four. Now the locked weapons. Owned weapons is what the player has. This will be good for if you don't feel like placing down a bunch of weapons everywhere. Force weapons, or force only, will only allow you to have that weapon, doesn't matter what weapons are out there, it will only allow that weapon to be spawned. Force and pickups will allow you to have weapons, oh, like the weapons of your choice everywhere, but have the fourth weapon. Let's say the machete, you spawn with a machete, but then you can get different weapons, they pick up different weapons. Time of day, um, the current will be the host's current time when they leave the session. Like what time the session will be in when the when the host of the lobby left it. Same for the weather. Traffic, that will depend whether cars are on the street or not. And the lobby radio is basically how, um, what will be playing when you start at the lobby. Now the force camera view I don't like to change, but you can set it to first person or third person or set it to no force view. I don't like when people set it to a certain view. Anyways, um, spawn points I'm gonna get to in a later 
thing, team sword points I just showed you about. And that's about everything. That's how you make a map, with the basics of a map. See you guys in the next set, in the, not the next set, the next, um, next video where I talk about deathmatch. Thank <laughs> you.